I don't know if a YouTuber has ever released this much supplementary content for a video, maybe ever, because the amount of shit that I'm putting out on Instagram wow. and uh, in regards to like this company and the beef, I made these two videos about I Am Academy, right? Uh, exposing them. The first one is about them being a pyramid scheme. The second one is more about them being a cult, right? Now, what's happened since is I've gotten threats from some of the people in the company saying, oh yeah, sending a private investigator on you, this and that, whatever, right? Y'all can still hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, we're listening. It's it's, unchar it's uncharacteristic for us to not interrupt. I know. Go ahead. Right, I know. Yeah. So so um, as Patrick Bet David said, because you guys are little trolls, that's why. Wow. Oh, wow. PBD, PBD. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so... so I got these people threatening me about, you know, I'm sending lawyers. They're telling uh, Fidel, who was in my videos, I'm sending the lawyers at Marco. I got another guy telling me a private investigator's on you. And here's the thing about me. I learned from this man in the corner right here on the poster. Biddy? If you initiate the beef with me, or if you come at me talking some bullshit threats, you better kill me because I'm gonna keep coming back like the Terminator until you do. And I refrained from taking it anywhere personal with any of these people because it wasn't pertinent to the topic at hand, which was talking about how this company is a pyramid scheme, okay? Yeah. Then this one guy in the company, Austin Godsey, he's just like a little peep, fake little peep, wannabe, like douchebag pyramid scheme guy. This guy here on the pictures that I posted. Yeah. He Sorry, messaged bro. me threatening. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the mugshot of his. He, he messaged me, and I, the, screen, <laughs> the screenshots are visible in that post. He messaged me um, being like, private investigator on you. If you go to the next slide, private investigator on you. Uh, next one. Private investigator on you. You better, I hope you know what you're doing. Here, I let Walk the YouTube light. video go, what you said yeah. about my mother. So what he's referring to is this guy put out a YouTube video uh, two years ago where it's this long vlog. We actually just finished watching it on my stream. Um, it's this long 11 minute vlog about him glorifying his totally backwards priorities to make like this inspirational video. And one of the key points in the video is he shows and documents and talks about how as his mom was dying of stage four cancer, instead of being with her in her final moments at the hospital, he chose oh to go on tour and speak at these pyramid no. scheme motivational events wow. instead. And he makes this whole yeah. vlog, Mom this whole cringe dying. vlog. And this is what he's referring to, private investigator on you. I pray you know what you're doing. Now you acting devilish. All these guys, all these fake gurus come at me on the same bullshit. I'm not the one. Here I said, I've heard it all before. Do your worst. Talking about God while whoring out your child and dead mother on social media for new recruits. Go to hell. Say less, player, he says. And this is just the facts. His seven-year-old son is allegedly a chairman in this company. He's at the rank of chairman, a fucking seven-year-old, right? And this guy posts photos with his kid and just, like, basically uses his kid as an accessory on Instagram, brags about skipping out on his mom's funeral. It's just a total piece of shit. So I had a field day going at this guy. On my stories, on my highlights, there's a highlight called I Am Academy on my, on my, on my page. Wow. I just have been literally going in, showing how everyone's followers are fake, how everyone's articles that they're featured in are fake. Like wow. Alex Morton is a guy there who's been featured in a bunch of stuff. He has in his bio, it says featured in Rolling Stone. His Rolling Stone <laughs> article, his Rolling Stone article is actually just making fun of him the whole time for being a pyramid scheme douchebag. And wow. all the other articles are paid brand sponsorships. <laughs> and so I've been doing stuff like, uh, these guys that have half a million followers, a million followers, I've been showing how in their comments, they get like less comments than me. I have 10,000 followers and they get less comments than me and they have a million or half a million followers. So I've just been exposing how it's all fake, fake money, fake followers, fake wealth, fake trades using demo accounts, fake everything. The whole industry is fake. Oh, yeah. I'm going now hard i love to see it, hard, man. i mean they yeah the, the the whole instagram fake thing is like they they're i get dms all the time be like hey man love you on the drip you want to you want to buy followers 
Hey, why don't I? Bro, get it's not. Why don't I get? I gotta give a lot of credit to the people that it used to be in I am because this shit has really resonated with them, bro. Because, yeah. um, all these there's so many like there's a group chat that I'm in on Instagram called like I am the I am rebellion or something. And it's all just pe like 25 people that used to be in I Am Academy. And these guys are just churning out memes every day Sick. about the company. Wow. Good, good, man. Nobody cares. I mean, the law doesn't care. But then I tell people and they're like, why are you negative? Like, that's my family's like, why, why, why? They're running a business. Look, man, I'm, listen, this, this company, this whole business, network marketing, right? It's, it's not a real business. It preys so hard on minority communities and it's it's low-key a racist business because look at the people that get targeted it's people who are trying to pursue the american dream minority communities who have extended families um people with from impoverished communities less educated communities and um it's just a racket it's just a racket is this, no it's is kind, this it's, it's kind of high key predatory man towards yeah, yeah. it's absolutely high key predatory yeah yeah is this what Patrick Bad David does too? Because he does have a lot. It's like it, I do see a lot when of my. He, he brags too. about the fact that uh, his his main customer is mostly like a Hispanic woman. Like that's his I most love, common dude, employee, a middle aged Patrick? Hispanic Hispanic woman. That's so, that's woman. so yeah. I'm with her, dude. That's so I'm with her. It's like it's like yeah, but like, kind of like you I said. About... I mean, that's the demographic of MLMs. Yeah, yeah, that's the demo. Absolutely, bro. And all the research guy, I've dude? done. Who is this tool? He's such so a this guy, guy, Austin Godsey, he's this guy who was inspired by Alex Morton. Alex Morton is a guy who's been in network marketing for over a decade. First, he was in Vima. Then when the Vima got shut down, he was in UNES. When UNES got shut down, he came to IML. And this guy, Austin Godsey, is one of his like spawn fanboys who who just loved watching Alex so, Morton growing so up. So who's uh, worse, Alex Morton or Austin Godsey? It's really tough, bro. It's, it's tough, really it's tough, tough because... Tough. Austin Godsey, like, if you look at the mugshot I posted, like, this guy from a year ago has, like, a sexual battery charge against a woman. Um, he has a two-year-old son that he acts like doesn't exist with some woman in the UK. Like, he's a true— How do you know he's that? A true, before, before we start um, saying stuff, what yeah, do you know? Well, you can look—you can see the police report. Um, you can see the mugshot and the website on the, on the Miami Dade— uh, police. I posted oh on my, my Instagram. Oh my As God. for the baby and the baby mama, um, somebody told somebody who used to be an I am with Alex Morton told me about about that, and I didn't believe it. So they gave me the girl's profile. She's a public account, and I went to her page, and she has a two year old son. And I'm I kid you not, the kid is literally Austin's face on a baby's body. And I messaged her <laughs> asking her. I messaged her asking her, yo, is this true? Can you explain <laughs> yeah. what's good with this and that? And she gave me the whole rundown and it lines up. The story adds up and it looks absolutely like Austin. Like this woman has no reason to lie. It's Austin's yeah, kid. Know, but like, no, Dad, people, yeah. people, like, do, know people do lie. And I, I always get uncomfortable when personal stuff comes into it. I mean, like what, where did it get so personal for you? Was it when they started coming at you or what? Look, so I knew about Austin Godsey's like, battery charge and whatever when i made my first video on i am Academy, why did you go I mean, public with it so no no i didn't i didn't talk about it i didn't talk about it um i knew about it the when i made my first two half an hour long documentaries about i am i didn't talk about it though because it wasn't relevant to the topic it's when he came uh talking crazy in my dm private investigator on you this and that so oh okay oh the 50 Invest beef started that's when the 50 cent yeah like oh you're gonna investigate me okay let's 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 see uh -oh. What are you going to investigate? And then the hunter became the hunted. <laughs> Absolutely. I, bro, I, somebody had to put these guys in their place. It wasn't happening. All these guys like Alex Morton. Uh, oh there's another guy in the company, gosh. David Imonitie. He was in one yeah. coin. He was a major guy in one coin, yeah. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. one of the biggest Ponzi schemes of in recent history. Oh, my gosh. All of these guys just jump from one pyramid scheme to the next. It's really because common. they're not the owners. It's very mm -hmm. common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or they, and, or they go cult mm -hmm. like Keith Raniere, because Keith Raniere sure. trained in this whole circle too. Right. Th and so nobody, nobody stuck it to these guys, and all of them say the same thing: "I'm not the one. Don't mess with me. See what happens next. I'm going to send the lawyers, private investigator." And I'm just saying, you know what? Fuck them. And so I was just going to say, sorry to interrupt, but. Um, I just want to catch up on some slang here. What's I'm not the one? Is that an aggressive way of being like, I'm not the one you want to talk to? Cause yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I'm the wrong one. Like I'm the wrong one. So I'm not the one. 
<laughs> yeah, so I put out a video yesterday saying, all right, you know what? Everybody, here's the link to the FTC report fraud page. Everybody go report I am for fraud. I showed a demo on my Instagram of how easy it is to report them for fraud. You don't even have to have been in the company. Hundreds of people did it. I know it got around because today every top chairman in the company and in their Telegram chats, which I got the inside scoop on because, you know, I have moles everywhere. All of them posted this thing. All of them redid their Instagrams today, took down posts with flashy cars. All of them posted this exact same story, same text, same screenshot, everything saying don't post flashy stuff. We have to remain compliant, da, 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 da. And all of their major chairmen who allegedly have 100,000, 400,000, a million followers are all blocking me when it's like, I'm nobody. I'm, I have 10,000 followers. How would you see me? Because right. I'm peeling back layer by layer. Oh, you, you think the they got money? Here's how the money's fake. You think, the fo you think they're famous? Here, their followers are fake. You think they're reputable? Here, their articles are fake. Wow. Get them. They, they you think, survive. You're getting them. You think they're gurus? Here, they beat up women and fucking have kids that they don't take care of. That's fair, man, because they are selling themselves as not only a money-making thing, but it is. Crazy. Absolutely. It is like, and they talk about God. This, uh, this Austin guy talks about God, and it's, it's not. I had this whole hashtag, God first, because he has God first in his bio. And <laughs> I put too, his face on a T-shirt, and much. I put God first and juxtaposed his 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 God first uh, message with all the terrible shit he's done in his life. Um, yeah, man. You're a it's, gangster, it's a, Marco. You're a gangster. That's pretty badass, dude. I appreciate it, but it's honestly just it's just what needed to happen. It's it's just just get him, Marco. It has to be, it has to be done. Is have you th have, do you feel like anything dangerous? Like how dangerous are we talking here as far as legal and then physical violence? So the thing, okay, legal first, right? Everybody's always said to me, aren't you scared of pe these people suing you? And every time I say no, the closest it's gotten is World Financial Group sent me a cease and desist letter. And other than that, they just try to take down my videos or make complaints. My Instagram has been taken down, like literally disabled six different times in the past yeah, uh, 10 that. days. They've been mass reporting my shit, doing anything they can. Every time I've gotten it back, though, of course, because um, I didn't do anything wrong. In, in, the, in terms of legal, I'm not afraid because here's how it would go down, Amish. They sue me. Here's the court case. They're in court. Marco called us a pyramid scheme. The judge, oh, you're not a pyramid scheme? No, we're not a pyramid scheme. Can you prove it? No. The end. No, but they can prove it. No, it's up to you to prove that they are a pyramid scheme. It's not them to prove that like- Listen, they can't, they can't. They don't want, they, the odds are already in my favor. This company already got, had to rebrand and pay a huge fine in 2018 for being a pyramid scheme. Their products are already banned in Belgium. Like they're already tipping the scale towards- Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, they don't want the smoke, bro. They don't want this problem. You no, know, I feel like, I feel like all, a lot of MLMs are watching this thinking to themselves, how do we not get Marco to find us? I feel yeah. like you're a problem for these MLMs. Yeah. And, and Dude, literally, the there's literally a guy, one of their guys in the company, his name's Matthew Thayer. He goes by Matty Pips. I called him out on my story a week ago because he posted this photo of him uh, in a Rolls Royce and he's showing off the stars in the ceiling. And there's a, this is a direct violation of their compliance handbook where it literally shows a picture of stars in the ceiling yeah, in a Rolls Royce and shows you have to blur it. So I tagged him and I posted the photo of the compliance right beside him. And I said, I made fun of him. I was like, haha, you have to blur the stars, Matthew. He deletes the story and blocks me today. He reposts the same newsletter that all of their chairman posted about, you know, remaining compliant and whatever. Yeah. And immediately after, posts a photo of a big home theater TV and a beach house, a lake house. And so I screenshot this and I post that on my story. And even though I'm already blocked, within minutes, the word got around to him and he deleted the stories. So they're watching very closely. Bro, I have 10,000 followers and every day, like 5,000 people are watching my story on Instagram. Wow. That's, that's because it's a bunch of IML guys too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Dude, tonight well, there was hey, a thousand people the watching the stream Army's tonight. got your back, dude. And the yeah, Marco, yeah. the the what do you, the Goon Squad? Goon yeah, squad. yeah. The goons. Dude, you, goons, man. you're tearing it up right now. I honestly do believe, Stephen, because listen, do you do you think that young people are are regularly going to the FTC website to report? No. Companies? No. 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 And I can I can confirm. Between the YouTube community post I made, the Instagram post, and the Discord post, I can confirm that at least 
250, 300 people made a report yesterday on I Am Academy. Oh, wow, that's great. That's what has to be done. That's I just want you to be happens. safe with it, though. I How? Just... How? Well, I, 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 just, I just feel like, like with the with 50 Cent beefs and stuff like that, like, didn't 50 get shot? I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, listen, bro, these guys... Here's the thing. Here's the other thing. Like, you talked about legally. Here's why in every other aspect other than legally, I'm not scared, Amish okay. and Steven. Okay. Okay. And the reason is because when you look at what actually drives somebody to be in an MLM or a pyramid scheme, a lot of times it's because they're too lazy to want to do real work. That's why they opt for doing a pyramid scheme because they can just stand up and post on Instagram and spew motivational bullshit uh, all day. Little pigs, little pigs. Right. Does that sound like the type of personality who's willing to get their hands dirty and physically do something to me? I don't think so. Fair no, enough. they see, but again, there's a lot of sociopaths. They're Fair very enough. hardworking. They are very hardworking, some of these guys. They're Fair psychos. Enough. But that's not, that's not hard work. Yeah, they're sociopaths, but right. that's not hard work. These guys yeah. are afraid to get yeah, their hands dirty. The, they have the pickle says desperate people do desperate things. Yeah, Meaning what? Yeah. Maybe they're you back a cat into a corner, it, it'll do something. Yeah, like this guy's putting God first on his thing. He said he sounds like a bit a bit loose. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm selling a T-shirt with this guy's face on it and his mugshot, more specifically. <laughs> oh my Dude, god, that's, that's so no, but it does. It is a good T-shirt. Marco's got nuclear. Like a, He's got nuclear on these guys, yeah, and they don't listen, know, they don't know how to handle listen, it. Listen, it, here's here's what's not interesting. People have done videos on MLMs a whole bunch before me. They've compiled the research better than me. Their production quality is better than me. Here's why it never takes off. Because that's not fun to sit there and watch a video where someone pulls up an article and narrates talking about what the article is saying. That's not fun when it's just a screen. What's fun is me going undercover into the shit, okay. saying, fuck you, you're a rat fuck. It's not fun to talk about a financial services company I agree. You know, I agree with so you. that's, yeah, yeah. so would anyone care about reporting it to the feds if it weren't for me making the memes, if it weren't for me making the shirt, if it weren't for, would it? No. Right. And if you want the very clerical, um, like researched, well-spoken essay on the shit, I made two 30 minute long documentaries about this company. You but don't have to say it to me. I know. I watched there's, both. There's a lot of people doing it on I've YouTube, watched both but of you're, them. you are right. I'm, I'm just, you're doing I'm just making Someone sure do this. that you're just, you're, you're being safe. That's all. But I'm down with it, dude. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I watch you what you're doing. I told Amisha. I said, I'm down with it. Amisha's I think you're going to face some. Oh. I think we, yeah. 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 No, I, I'm, I'm Look, they can't take it. anything from me. Yeah. I don't have anything for them to take. What are you going to sue me for? Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. That's a fair point. That is a fair point. Yeah. What are you going to sue me for? My laptop? So legally, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. What can they really get from you? Listen, the only concept, like, this is what they don't understand is while you have, while it is legal, what they're doing, right? MLM, it's legal. It is wrong. You're, you are still, you are still at the mercy of the public opinion. There are still social yeah. consequences to your actions. Yeah. Even though what you're doing is legal, it doesn't mean you're not a douchebag. It doesn't mean you're not a scammer yeah, yeah, for yeah. doing what you're doing, you know? You have a standard, so, not just wow. hey, it's legal. Wow, guys. Absolutely, and, and listen, that's the thing that, me and James Janney were talking about this. Me and James Janney were talking about doing a, a video together about I Am Academy. Yeah. And that would ob obviously be crazy, but one of the things they always say to me is, but Marco, how could it be a pyramid scheme? Pyramid schemes are illegal. MLM is legal. Guys, slavery was legal. Gay marriage was illegal for just until a couple years ago. Marijuana was illegal just until a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean it's right just because it's legal. Yeah. They this is I say this all the time. No, no, I 100% say this. Yeah. Marco, right. it's, it's not that that I'm like, wow. It's the Instagram beef. You've got a rap beef going on, and I'm all here for it. I follow the, I follow I it. I want to see work. more, but as your friend, I want to make sure that you're safe while I get entertained, wildly entertained by your stuff. So, but Steven, what does that mean? What? How would you make sure I'm safe? 
In what way? If if unless if I'm, I'm doing worried, it, I'm just worried about. No, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about what these like weird people are gonna yeah, like. They are sketchy. There's and just they're a little crazy. It's it, they, there are like, crazy people, crazy. and you can see from people like Austin Gatsi, they think they're thug. He yeah. he's got like the tattoos on his face, and it's like he, this yeah, guy yeah, thinks yeah. he's a thug. He wants Is to intimidate he, people. He wants to intimidate. I people. don't think like, he'd punch you, but I think he like, like I I think he might do something even stupider. Dude, he might say, "Hey, you look, with my money." I bet. My money. Look, Listen, you guys. That's all I'm worried about, and I don't think it's very likely. I think you're yeah, gonna be fine. Yeah, probably not. But I want to say that as much as probably. I love watching it, I just want you to be safe. That's all. Well, look, there's no way, there's no feasible way for me to reveal the information about these people without directly calling them out. Sure, I could not tag them. But it's gonna get to them anyways, so fuck yeah. them. Sure, I could not put his shirt on, uh, put his mugshot on a T-shirt. But the, you can see the analytics on your channel. You guys can see the analytics on your Instagrams. I'm seeing how far it spread. Last Tuesday, what's today? Wednesday. Last Tuesday, I did an Instagram live. I had 9,700 followers during that live stream two of the top chairmen in this company joined and started debating me. By the end of that live, I had 10,000 followers. As of right now, I have 10.7K followers. So in the last week, a thousand new people have followed and there's been thousands of people who have become yes. privy to this situation who may not have watched my videos before. People are coming in, seeing these memes, being like, what's this all about? And I say, here's the video, it's explained. And I've got hundreds of people messaging me saying, I just watched your video. You opened my eyes. I'm leaving. I am. Fuck them. I know they're feeling it and right now. Fidel. I know they're feeling yeah. it. Fidel, yeah. you got them. That's amazing. That's God's work, man. Hey, you do God's like the, the sinners, the sinners are always going to come after you. They're always going to fight. And you still got to like, something's got to be done about it. Or else like a whole other generation going to get caught up in this shit. That's it's the thing. For the you got to sit. Yeah. It has to be stopped somehow. Look, and even Fidel, the guy who used to be in I Am Academy, who's now like an ally, he's anti-MLM now. You saw him in the second video That's with his amazing. redemption arc. That's yeah, amazing. so Incredible. even he even he was telling me like, yo, this shit is like crazy. Like what if they sue, whatever, whatever. Bro, nobody, like I'm getting, I'm risking my Instagram getting taken down. They can mass report me. Like the odds are stacked against me for sure. But nobody ever affected any sort of positive change in the world by being afraid of ruffling the feathers or getting stepped on by the man. Yep. Fuck him. Yep. And that's it. And that's it. That's true.